Hi guys. Right, we're doing um making a toast in your camper van today. This is uh this is basically on the back of um how to make bacon in your camper van. So um going to be making a bit of toast today. Um now there's all sorts of ways you can do it. Um obviously if you've got a if you've got a grill um all very well and good. Great. But as in my setup, I've only got the um, two rings. Um, so what I use, I've tried several different methods. Um, I've tried the round ones that stand up so you can have four pieces of toast. Didn't really get on with those. Um, tried one of those uh, anti-spatter things. Put my toast on that, held that over there. Not too bad, but it's getting it. You know, you can't get the right height to get the right heat. So, um, after several attempts, I've um, eventually opted for one of these. You can see that. That's, um, it's a folding toast rack. Um, I think Geller, I don't know if it's Geller at Maycomb or something, I'm not sure. But um, this one... This one came from Millet originally before they um, before they went through the hoop, but um, you can get them on the internet. I, I've seen them on eBay. They're not very expensive. You can get them for way less than a tenner. So um, as you can see, you got that. Your little handle folds out like that. You fold that bit down like that. Drop that little bit in, and there's your toast holder. So what we'll do now is we'll proceed to make some toast. And I'll see you. I'll show you what it's like. Right, like the old gas. I find it very low gas. Otherwise, otherwise you just turn your toast to charcoal. Now it's got a mesh. The idea is the mesh goes on the bottom, which is what retains some of the heat or diffuses some of the heat. So. Uh, pop it on there like that and see how we go might smell a little bit especially if you've got a bit of uh, if you've got very sort of crumbly bread because it tends to sort of drop off but um, it's alright yeah smell it now <laughs> smell me crumbs that's what I'm smelling smelling me crumbs Don't know if you've been watching my good idea series, but um, little jam pots, perfect. Just enough for um, for me weekend away. So I'll do for that. Right, let's see how we're getting on. Oh, lovely! Look, can you see that? But as you can see, it's it's not burnt. It seems to be just the right distance away from the flame and it doesn't burn it all. Because if you try and hold it over the flame you always end up with burnt bits. But these little um these little toasters, absolutely fabulous, brilliant. I wouldn't suggest you use it on an open campfire because I think you put it, the trouble with the, the open campfires is they just go black. It's like my saucepan. Um well, I, I mean, I've cleaned this one, but I, I used to do a lot of uh, wild camping, you know, out in the open campfires and stuff. And your parts on pans, just they just get black. Yes, toast is doing lovely. Move it around a bit so you get it to the right place, place where you want it. I wouldn't suggest you grill anything else with it. Um, I mean, they're not designed for cooking burgers and bacon and all this sort of stuff because there's nowhere to catch all the oil and fat. I mean, it, it's only designed for toast. That. You see that? Lovely. Nice bit of anemic toast, just how I like it. So, there we go. There's um, 
uh, how to cook your toast in your camper van. Um, hope this was some help. Um, certainly works for me, so um, hope it's useful for you. So, for now, see you in the next one. Cheers then.